What's up, Hi Q homies? It's Victoria Garrick here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are reacting to Hi Q season one, episodes 19 and 20. We are back with another hour long marathon reaction. So I hope my Triple H's, my hardcore high cue homies are ready. If you wanna watch this in doses, that's fine, you do you. I'm super excited to be watching these two episodes today. I have been so eager, so eager to keep watching because episode 18 was unreal. And so I can't wait to see them face Oikawa and just know what happens next. So we're gonna get right into this. Before we do, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Become a high cue homie. I upload reactions every single Tuesday. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And also follow me. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Let's be friends. I actually um, have been trying to upload some high cue inspired TikToks. So check those out. Okay. Well we're gonna get right into it. I guess I'll tell you quickly where I am. I'm in my office. Um, I just got this new pink couch, super fun. I tried to like, you know, add some decor, like <laughs> shameless. Uh, it's subtle, it's subtle. I put my flag here. I don't know, I need to decorate. I don't know, if you guys have ideas on what I should do with this wall, let me know. But anyways, let's get into this video because we've got a lot to watch today. Interesting analogy, and I think it's very true. A good setter makes or breaks a team. Same with a bad setter, oh my gosh. One year, I'm not gonna get too specific so that no one can track this back. I don't think anyone who actually knows me watches these videos, but for you all, I'll give you the tea. I was on a team and every player I thought was elite, except the setter. And we were terrible because there's literally nothing you can do when you don't have at least a decent setter. So setting is so, so, so important. And also I think having a fantastic setter, but having not so great everything else can actually make you better, if that makes sense. So setting is important. I feel the energy from Noya. Being totally honest, I would go back and forth with that mentality as a libero before I had performance anxiety, you know, before I had that fun mental health issue. I was fearless and I, of course, loved receiving the serve. I was like, serve at me, serve at me. Especially with like really intense jump top spins. Oh, I love when those are served at me. But a deadly jump float, fine if you know they served elsewhere but I do remember in games it felt awesome to have confidence in myself on serve receive so if other people were struggling I could like take more court or I would just be like serve me serve me because I wanted to attempt passing something that was difficult overall I love their enthusiasm <laughs> Oh, 
Wait, isn't it kind of cute that Shoyo and Kageyama sit next to each other on the bus? <gasps> I mean, it's so cute. It's like Kageyama hates Shoyo, but he loves him. We know he loves him deep down. Oh, then there's Suki and Yamaguchi. Got it down. Like, I get that Oikawa is dreamy. I get it. They're, they, he's shown that way. He gives those vibes. But I'm, I don't know. I'm not into that kind of guy. I mean, I know, I know I like don't really have to be into these players, but like that personality is not attractive to me. Like, I would much rather be with someone who is like the hidden gem as opposed to the one that everyone wants. I mean, unless we're talking about like a pop star, you know. Okay, I'll get back to the show. He did not just come at them like that. Honestly, paying attention to the media when you are in intense tournaments is hit or miss because for example, like if this emotionally gets them nervous or defeated or overhypes them, it just takes you out of your own flow and your own practice. I know when we were our best at USC, like number one in the country, we were not allowed to look. I mean, some people did, but we weren't supposed to ever read the like volleyball websites and see what people were saying in the Twitter because our coach just wanted us in the zone. Because like at the end of the day, this kind of talk most of the time can only be hurtful. So I'm interested to see how this affects them. Because on the one hand, it could like motivate you. Like, oh, they said that, well, we're gonna prove them wrong. But on the other hand, it could be like a lot of pressure and negative energy. So I personally like to stay away from external commentary when I'm in a game mode because it allows me to focus and kind of block out that noise. Wait, who are they playing now? Nicole, who, like who are they playing next? I thought they were playing Oikawa's team. Are they? Yeah, they are, right? Interesting. I'm surprised the middles were already participating in serve receive. Did I miss that looking at the court? Usually your middle never is passing. Ah, <laughs> 
You guys, now that I watch these episodes and we're like in the meat of it, I'm just thinking of all the episodes I watched to get here that you guys watched with me. They were important, but like this is, this is it. Like this, I feel like we're in the show. I mean, you can't just like catch someone up to speed on where we're at. It, it's too complicated. And I feel, I feel good about it. I feel like we're in like the big leagues. Side note. Ooh, the film. Sorry, you guys, I feel like I'm not saying that much, but I'm kind of enjoying just watching the show. I'll talk more. <laughs> This is important because obviously when you scout a team, you get to understand their tendencies, what they like to do in tough situations, who their go-to players are, where their weak spots are. When I was in high school, we didn't scout. And when I was in club, we didn't really scout. I mean, our scouting was sitting and watching the team play and like noticing, you know, how they play, who their big hitters are but our coaches were the ones that did more of this. And then when I got to USC, wow, we scouted. We watched film on so many things. I mean, we spent, I mean, the amount of information we got on just one team. Um, Actually, you guys, I forgot I did this. I did a video called how to scout teams or how we scout teams. I did it a long time ago, but check that video out if you're interested in seeing how we scouted teams at the college level, because I kind of take you through my scouting report. <laughs> I'm like getting anxious. Oh my gosh, we're jumping right into the game! <laughs> who are these two? Someone tell me who these people are. And it's annoying because I'm filming these in advance, so I won't be able to find out who they are until episode 21. <laughs> These three are such a squad. Wow, I'd love to hang out with them. Oh. 
Oh, it's warm up. These are the older alumni players who came and scrimmaged them. And this is the one who's giving private secret lessons to Yamaguchi. Wait, I'm, oh my gosh. You guys, I don't know where my head has been, but we scrimmaged Oikawa's team, but he wasn't playing. Oh, that's right. We scrimmaged Nakoma, then we scrimmaged this team and we lost every single set and they didn't have Oikawa or, oh gosh, I wish you guys could help me remember this right now. Or was it that we, did beat these people, but they didn't have their setter. Oh my gosh, I forget. Come on, Cogsy. Oh my god, it's baby Kageyama, he's so cute. <laughs> Trying to learn how to say it. <laughs> Just like last time. Okay, so they beat them without Oikawa setting. You see guys, I can figure it out on my own. Or I mean, I should really say it to myself. You see Vic, you can do this without the homies, but I can't, I can't do anything without you guys. That one's catchy too. Go, 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 side, go. I was gonna say that coach looked familiar. Okay, can the game just start already? So much hype and it's working because I'm getting excited. <laughs>
he just attacked on two. Okay. Oh, I mean, <laughs> nobody was expecting that, and that is legit. Wow. That is so genius to establish right away. Because when you establish that the setter can attack and is legitimate, then you feel like you always have three front row and it just makes the blockers a little bit more hesitant. So that is very smart. And also I wasn't vibing his cockiness, but now I'm kind of like, oh, okay, I get it. You're good. <laughs> That was not a setter dump. The translation is wrong because that was a straight up attack. You guys need to be doing your reading. Ball setter, ball hater. You would have seen them. You would have seen Oiko White jump. He's tipping. He's tipping. Oh, uh, what? 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 That was insane. I've never seen that ever in real life either. So I don't know if that's actually possible. I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but I've never seen anyone do it in a legitimate competition setting. You take a four step approach, you're in the air, and then you go to set. I mean, if you've seen that in person, drop a link in the comments because I would love to see it. But it's great for this, this type of show because of course they can do anything that they want, but interesting. I mean, that serve is just so easy, I'm shocked, but... Oh no. Oh no, come on. Drop, 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 drop. Yes! That's our boy. Oh my gosh. And that is the T. Thank you. That is the tea. Kageyama said, I can do it too, honey. Just watch. I was not expecting that. I think this is great because we are feeling the way Oikawa and his team feel is we're like completely shook that he just did that. I'm shook. That was amazing. I freaking love Kageyama. Let's go. Wait, that is so genius. Oh, it's over. That is so genius. He just served it right back in his face. Hey, but you know what the beautiful thing is? 
We're about to watch the next episode because this is an hour long back to back reaction. Hardcore high cue homies flowing through this. I see you. I love you. Let's keep going. For those of you that need to take a break, I respect it. Self care. I get it. Come back whenever you're ready and let's watch the next episode. But I will continue right now with my triple H's. Oh my God. As soon as I can press this button. That was so sick. Yes, you are. We love the confidence. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah, but it's fine. <laughs> I meant I'll do it the next time I'm up front. <laughs> Okay, let's go, Noya. Dime this. Yes, he threw him off with a look back, I think. Cool. Kageyama. Wait, so are they saying that Kageyama did what Kenma did? Wait, oh gosh. Is his name Kenma or Nikoma? No, Nikoma is the school. Kenma is the player, right? Yeah. I think so. Kenma threw people off with a glance. And so I think Kageyama adapted that skill. He just threw them off and set the quick to Hinata. We love to see it. It's very true. Confused on that whole exchange, but we'll flow with it. Wait, didn't that look like a baby Tanaka? Wait, you guys have a look at this libero. Doesn't that look like a little Tanaka? It's a baby Tagonga, right? Cute. I'm so impatient, you guys. I just want them to like play. Like obviously the dialogue in between is important, but I just want them to play because I just want to watch it. Oh, <laughs> 
Interesting. I didn't even notice that. Is the coach just like, take it away, Oikawa? Is his name Kageyama Tobio? Tobio is a sick last name. Or is it Tobio Kageyama? Don't break your platform, Shoyo. I've been telling you in my reactions the past four weeks. We would call this serving into traffic, where there's a lot of people, a lot of players moving around. You want to serve into traffic, get them to stumble on their feet, slow down. It is definitely difficult because someone is running in front of you and someone is serving really well at you. It's much harder than when you're just staring at a ball and you have a lot of space around you to feel comfortable. Yeah. over a three blockers. <gasps> he did not just say that to show yo. I feel like that's one of those things where it's like, it's okay when we say it, but it's not okay when you say it. Like, have you seen Mean Girls where they're like, it's only okay when I say that. I feel that way about show yo. Like, we can call him annoying because he's our ball of annoying, but you can't. Because that is mean. Comment down below if you agree or disagree with me. <laughs> Come on, Kageyama. He's, he's going a little, a little anxious. Oh, gosh. Wait, I feel like they've literally never practiced out of system. I have no idea who's taking the second ball here. My guess is Daichi will come in because he's more of a leader, but we'll see. That was right. Ooh.
新規の連続ミスも相当のプレッシャーになるまずは元気な坊主君を静かにさせて次はエース攻撃の要のレフト2人が折れれば優秀な音にも意味がなさるおっ早っそこでタイム取ったなアイスヘムアンドサーブ Love that. I think I've told you guys that before. If you're struggling on serve receive, just pass it high and off. Don't worry about perfection. Love these words of wisdom, coach. Come on, Tanaka. <gasps> nice. Oh, why isn't Noya in? Or is he just not serving Noya? Oh gosh, oh gosh, this is bad, you guys. This is bad, volleyball. So true. Yes, that's your buddy. Say something, Shoyo. Yes, Noya, come on, let's get the point back. I'm like gonna get emotional. I, this is like so cute and sad. I, I just, I love Tanaka. I just feel like he's, he's just so. In the arms of the angel. He's just so pure, and I don't want anyone to make him feel small, you know? Oh, Tanaka-san, 
Okay, come on. Oh gosh, that is a huge leap. That's the quick. Wait, just for two seconds, I'm gonna switch it to English. I'm just curious. Also, it's so funny to me how I think English just sounds so weird. Like I'm so used to the Japanese and I totally understand why you guys were all coming for me in the beginning when I didn't listen to it in Japanese. I'm just curious. I just need to like, you know, spice it up. Is that supposed to be Kageyama's voice? Oh no, that's Oikawa's voice. I can't do it. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. It's so weird. It's so weird. Okay. <laughs> Set the pipe. We haven't done acai in the pipe yet. True. It's interesting how now Kageyama is in a very high pressure situation and it's really easy to try something new and be uncomfortable when the situation isn't intense. But in this situation where you're feeling like you're on the brink of panic, a lot of people resort back to what's comfortable, even though they know it's wrong. So basically what Oikawa is saying is, is he not going to be able to trust his team and lean on his team in the way he knows he needs to and he should in this moment because it's easier for him to be king of the court, Kageyama. I hope not, but we'll see. Okay, well, they've picked up some of the lead. Kageyama, stop freaking out. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Kageyama needs to knock it off. Take a deep breath. 
He's gonna set it too fast. I was literally thinking to myself, put in Suga. I almost said it out loud to you guys. I literally almost said I would put in Suga at this point. I was thinking it though. You know how earlier, and I promise I'm not like, you know how early in the episode I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not talking that much. I'm just enjoying the show. I'm saying more in my head today and usually I say it out loud, but I was thinking this. I think it's a good call because Kageyama needs to know that what he's doing is not okay. And I think Suga deserves a chance, to be honest. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm so eager to see what happens because Suga's getting his time to shine and wow. I mean, I think there's just a lot that is about to happen and it's so hard because I literally, you guys, have to wait uh, like seven days in between because I'm recording all of the episodes for you guys, but I think if I wasn't, I would just be, literally, I think I could binge watch an entire season, if not more, in a weekend. That was a really great ending. That was a cliffhanger. I cannot wait to see what happens next. As always, Q leaving us on the best cliffhangers. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already and hit that bell icon so that next Tuesday, when I upload the reaction to episode 21, you guys are the first to watch. Thanks again for tuning in. Connect with me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Let's stay in touch throughout the week. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you Q homies, and I will see you guys in six days. Either way, I'll see you guys next week, and keep watching my reaction videos if you wanna go down a deep, dark hole. Bye.